Hello, my name is Dr. K and my highest excitement is providing you with the tools, the strategies and the technologies to help you evolve rapidly as conscious leaders in body, mind and spirit so we can be the change that we've been waiting for. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this with someone you love and I will see you in the next video. Hello, this is Dr. Kirkendall, and this is my take on diagnosis. After 40,000 patient visits and over a decade in practice, and probably another 10 years in undergraduate studies, and then another five years of diplomate studies, I can tell you that diagnosis renders you powerless. The actual very act or fact of saying that you have depression or you have restless leg disorder, or you have anxiety, or you have agoraphobia where you're afraid of going outside. All of those types of lifestyle diagnoses is actually so much related to your own accountability, your own power. So we say, well, doctor, I have this diagnosis. Thank goodness. I knew it was depression. I knew I, I, knew I have the medical diagnosis of anxiety. And so what do you got? and they pull out their $250,000 medical bag and they either have physical therapy, they have surgery, they have a knife, right? They have a scalpel or they have pharmaceutical drugs. You say, well, which one of them is gonna fix? Well, you know, like, you know, the surgery is probably not gonna be the one that does it. And, you know, we probably don't need to send you over to physical therapy or any of that kind of stuff. So we got this little pill and when you take it, it makes you feel better. Well. While that may be true on some level, and it is, because there is definitely serotonin uh, receptors in the brain, and actually most of the neurotransmitters of the body and serotonin is produced in your gastrointestinal system. So if you're working with an astute doctor, they're not just gonna give you a little pill, they're gonna say, well, we need to heal your GI tract. We need to heal your system that actually produces this. Uh, what a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or SSRI does, is it blocks all of the, the, the actual receptors so it keeps more serotonin around in the brain. Well, that's one way, but what's another way to actually get serotonin? You can get it in your food, you can get it through movement, you can get it through being more expansive, you can get it through healing your body. So there's the physiological, physical part, but then there's also the power part, the part that you play is don't just take the pill and keep going back every month to check in, right? is you want to say, well, what, what is in my life that is creating depression? What am I not letting go of? What am I not bringing in? What am I not creating? What relationship is causing this? You know, oh, it was my mother, my mother and my father, they were the one that caused all this pain and therefore I'm now depressed. Well, you could sit in counseling and therapy and on drugs for years. Now I say this from an actual sense of knowing in myself, because when I was 16, I started to get sick and sick and sick. And by the time I was 18, I had full-blown fibromyalgia. I had full-blown chronic fatigue. I was completely exhausted. Here I am 18 years old and my joints are aching. I can't get out of bed. I wake up more tired than I literally feel like I got hit by a truck. I was exhausted after I woke up, like I'd been in surgery or something. Every single day, this went on for years until I found some new approach and that was where accountability and my own power well man i gotta change my diet i eat like crap i'm not giving it oxygen because i'm all stressed out so i don't breathe you know my diaphragm's all uptight i'm not sleeping well because i'm up trying to avoid my anxiety my fear and depression watching video games and netflix and this doctor that i met with my whole health crisis was like, hey man, you gotta eat better. You gotta clean up this stuff. You gotta turn off the, all of the electromagnetic stuff. You gotta stop overstimulating yourself. You need to sit with yourself. And I learned that, man, diagnosis is, is important. We'll come back to that. But it's also rendering you powerless because, oh, I have this thing. Oh, it's diabetes type two, you know, my whole family had it. Well, maybe your whole family eats donuts, drinks alcohol, or eats carbohydrate laden food. So the power part comes in, well, man, I'm gonna change my diet. I'm gonna get moving. I'm gonna start seeing a functional medicine type practitioner. I'm, but that don't stop there. Like, I'm actually gonna to start to give my gift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what inspires and empowers me. And there's, there's thousands and thousands of stories and books and evidence and all of this out there for people that were 
deeply, deeply unhappy and um, it rendered them whatever. And in this one, it could be depression. It could be frustration, anxiety, you know, it could lead to addiction or make you grab donuts and ice cream because your cells are now physiologically, after a while, after the emotion sets in, physiology becomes like, well, now you have insulin resistance and leptin resistance and you can't get hormones into your cells because of all the inflammation, because there's a multi-lipid bilayer around each individual cell. And all of those cells have receptor sites of cortisol and thyroid stimulating hormone and leptin and glu you know, all these different things, you know, glucose receptors. And so, and you realize as these things set in over time, these emotions, these feelings, that's what leads to a diagnosis. There's a causation to this stuff. There's a causation to why you have cardiomegaly, which is an enlarged heart. Well, you know, there's a ton of reasons why that is. So realize that all of that starts to set in after a period of time, after you're in a certain level of emotion or consciousness or state where you're like, oh, my parents did all of this. So maybe you need to sit with, maybe you need to heal that relationship. What's a class you could take to learn how to heal your relationship with your family? What's a class you could learn to, to let go of things? And that is how diagnosis renders you powerless. Now, diagnosis, like I said before, is also a really important piece because it helps you to begin to know, oh, okay, I have an enlarged heart or, oh, okay, I have a, a bladder issue, a lung issue, I have a broken arm. Those are more acute type situations. And what I'm talking about are the chronic lifestyle type situations where if you really get to the core of it and you support the physical body because it's the one on the journey, but you really get to the deeper realms of where it's coming from and why, man, that's powerful. And when you combine those two as a form of healing, light bulbs come on and guess what? Your whole life is shifted. So diagnosis can render you powerless if you let it. If you get a diagnosis of anything, ask the deeper questions. Look at it from a broader view. There's so much new evidence and so much new information and wonderful things coming out now where um, that can help you that are not just in the standard uh, approach. So I encourage you to look into that today. I love you very much and we'll talk soon. If this video was inspiring and empowering, make sure you share it with someone you love, like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss a single thing and I will see you in the next video.